Taco Cluster with Nick Kotenbrook. In this video, we're going to learn how to do client side logins and authentication. Now, this thing I think is probably the coolest part of Taco Cluster is that you can do anything you want for the most part on the client side, which makes your spa much, much, much faster than uh, some other um, spas out there. Okay, so how, how is this done? Well, it's a little complicated and we'll get into it, but first I want to show you what it looks like. So here's the here's your main page. If they go, they reroute to your just your domain. It forces them to go to the login page because they're not logged in. So we'll do our login here. Now we'll direct us to our home page, and you'll see we have our spa here. We try to go back to the login page. It redirects us to home. If we go to just the domain, redirects us to home. So you have full control over the URL and what where they're at. If you log out, we try to go to home, it redirects us to login. So you can see it's a fully working authentication system. It's pretty pretty remarkable, I have to say. <laughs> so let's get into what, how this actually works. So the very first thing we needed is some users. So I just used DB Migrate to create a few a, a database to hold um, the users, database table to hold the users, and just kind of some user types. Nothing smancy. Just a few little things here, and uh, I'm also using SH a 256 for the authentic for um, the uh, encryption for the passwords. Uh, if you want something more secure, you can just use SH SH a 256 times two or dot x2, and that makes it much harder to crack. Okay, so um, let's get into how this actually works. I think the first thing you'll notice when you're going over this code you'll see, wow, there's not a whole lot of, there's no session variables, there's no, um, there's no uh, express routes. It's kind of odd because everything's done on the client. So we're just serving an initial page and then we ask for the login and we ask for the logout. And then the worker, or excuse me, on the, um, on the client, we just simply have, we, um, a little bit of boilerplate code like we talked about in the previous videos, uh, our spa code, uh, our router. So this is basically just paths that the user can go go to. This is a catch-all, um, and then server connect to the server here, and then we have our authentication and our login button and our logout button. And then just our basic. Uh, um, sections for a spa. It's not too complicated. Okay, so how, how does this all work? So the very first thing you have to realize is in order to make a spa work, as we talked before, you need to kind of hide everything. So uh, we do it just like we did before with the with the sections, the container, and the nav bar here. And then what we do is we and then Excuse me. Uh, in the bottom of our app, uh, JavaScript application, we say when the document's ready, we're going to notify the connect to server function. And that is up here. And what that does is that makes the connection to the, to the server, Saga cluster connection. Uh, and then on connect, we set our starter value to true, and that's just for routing so that the um, director doesn't route before the, we have connection to the server. We talked about that in a previous video, now if you want to go over that again. Uh, please watch this the spa videos and that will explain it in more detail. Okay, here's here's the meat of the stuff. So on connect we are uh, status variables actually returned from the server and we're saying okay is it authenticated? Is it has the person been authenticated? And we're going to go over how to set that here in a minute. Uh, if they are authenticated, uh, then we're going to hide any error messages. Click clear the error message text. We're going to grab the hash on the URL. And we're going to um, Show the nav bar, and we're going to route them based on what the hash is. So, if they're, you know, if they're hash, if there's no hash at all, then we're going to send them to home, which is what happens when you just go directly to the domain, or we're going to send them to whatever page they ask for here. And uh, and if they're not authenticated, we're going to set login to false. We're going to force them to go to the login page, um, and then uh, we're going to display a little error message that says, "Hey, you must be logged in to access that area." We're gonna hide the nav bar and direct them directly to uh, login. Now you can actually make this more succinct if you want to spend the time, um, but I'm not gonna take the time to do that in this video. Um, 
this is this is a really important part. This uh, socket dot authenticate. This is what sets. I believe it's a cookie on, on on the browser that saves all your data, and this is uh, what does that. So you, you really have to have this, otherwise it won't work. And then I have uh, my login and logout buttons. So and those are just um, classes. Like you inspect this element here, you'll see ID login button, and that just directly maps to this button here. When you click on it, we're going to admit a login uh, event. We're passing in the email and the password, which once again are just these form group guys here. Input email, input password. Pretty simple. And then we're going to uh, test for an error. So on the worker, we look at the login event here. So we select star from the users where email matches up. Uh, and then we pass in the email to the pool. We test for an error. If there is no error, we check the length. <clears throat> to ensure that there are users that match that email. If there aren't, then we can pass back, hey, that account doesn't exist, which with the error message, we say logged in false, and then we just show that to the user, hey, there's no user accounts that exist. And then we use SSH 256 to test the password against the password in the, in the database. If it matches, then we set the auth token, that's, that's the key right there, um, and then we respond back with null. And so that this error variable here is null, which means we're logged in. We set the hash, we send it to the home page. It's as simple as that. It's, 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 not, it's not too bad. Um, and then we have to handle log, uh, logouts. So same sort of thing. We have a logout button on the, on the home page. If we uh, click the logout button, we admit the logout event. The logout event just simply removes that auth token and it responds with null because there's no error. Um, and we just handle it. So, um, okay, hey, the log, they've logged out, so we say login equals false. We hide the nav bar and we force them to go to the login page. So it's not too bad. And then we have the normal spa routes here that we've seen in previous videos. It's as simple as that. So if you have any questions, please um, post them below and I'll get to them as fast as I possibly can. And I appreciate your time in watching these videos. And thank you for watching.